Welcome back. All right, so it was yesterday that Patrick Hornquist announced his retirement from the National Hockey League, which I think we saw coming with the way this season ended. Uh, he only played 22 games this past season, so not a huge surprise that he calls it quits. Uh, Hornquist's season has been really underlined by one point. He was the last draft pick in 2005. He is the guy that they will mention in every draft coverage with, don't go away, don't turn the TV off, because remember, Patrick Hornquist was drafted 230th overall in 2005. It can happen. It can absolutely happen. We could see a guy in the seventh round, so this last player who's taken could end up being a Hornquist. It's not likely, but, I mean, yeah, there is that chance, right? And he fought his way through, you know, being a seventh round pick and being the last pick in the draft. And Nashville, he would make his debut in 08 09, playing with that team. Uh, 28 games, two goals, five assists, seven points. So, quiet start, right? And again, seventh round pick. So, you would look at that and say, hey, he made it to the National Hockey League. That's a win for guys drafted last overall in the NHL. But 2009 2010, he had a fantastic year. In fact, he has his only 30 goal season in his career. 80 games, 30 goals, 21 assists, 51 points. In the playoffs, he adds one assist in two games. So that 30 goals comes, kind of comes out of nowhere. And obviously, there'd be a lot of speculation about what more could there be. Now, again, he doesn't cross that 30-goal barrier again, but he gets close. Not the following season, though. 2010-2011, 79 games, 21 goals, 27 assists, 48 points. In the playoffs, he plays 12 games, 2 goals, 1 assist, 3 points. And... In those playoffs, they were stopped by Vancouver. So for Nashville, they're a good team. They're a good team, but they're in that second tier. They're not quite a contender. 2011-2012, 76 games played by Hornquist, 27 goals, 16 assists, 43 points. So a lot more goals than assists, and in the playoffs, he adds a goal, 3 assists, 4 points in 10 games. Now 2012-2013 is a shortened season. 48-game schedule. He only plays 24 games that year, 4 goals, 10 assists, 14 points. So, I mean, it's a down year, injuries and all that. And so the following season, what was expected? Well, he ends up getting right back to where he was. In fact, he sets a career high in points. And the assist totals start to become uh, a little more pronounced than they were before that. Uh, 76 games played in 2013-2014, 22 goals, 31 assists, 53 points. But Nashville wants to shake things up. Yep, they want to shake things up. And the real deal, James Neal's how you make that happen. So June 27th, Patrick Hornquist is traded with Nick Spaling in exchange for James Neal. And so Hornquist is off to Pittsburgh with Spaling, and Neal is headed to Nashville. Seen as a pretty even trade, both play a similar game. Well, 2014-2015, his first year in Pittsburgh, Hornquist plays 64 games, 25 goals, 26 assists, 51 points. Now, when you look at it, the fact he only plays 60, 64 games means he likely would have crossed 30 goals again, had he been healthy the full season. In the playoffs, he adds two goals, one assist, three points in five games. So he's gone from a team in Nashville that is, you know, middle of the pack, sometimes outside the playoffs, oftentimes in the playoffs, to a team in Pittsburgh that had won the Cup in 2009, but they'd struggled since then. They had struggled in the playoffs, and there was a lot of discussion about being a one-and-done team, and, while well, it's just not going to happen again. Well, 2015-2016, it did. 82 games played that year by Hornquist, 22 goals, 29 assists, 51 points. In the playoffs, 24 games, 9 goals, 4 assists, 13 points. So they win the Stanley Cup, 9 goals in the playoffs, not insignificant. Hornquist, a physical guy who crashes the net, uh, you need those in the playoffs, and he absolutely helped the Penguins to that Stanley Cup. And they enjoyed it so much, they repeated the following season. 2016-2017, play 70 games. 21 goals, 23 assists, 44 points. But again, with the agitating style that Hornquist plays, even when he's not producing goals and points at the same rate, he's still a very useful player. In the playoffs, 19 games, 5 goals, 4 assists, 9 points, and yep, back-to-back -back Stanley Cups. So two Stanley Cup rings for Patrick Hornquist. He never won any major awards, wasn't really in the running for any major awards, but I think two Stanley Cup rings is a pretty good career. Then 2017-2018, he plays 70 games, back up to 29 goals. So Hornquist's goal scoring, that's his second best season after his first full year in the NHL with 30 there, the 29 here. And again, he played 70 games. So if he played the whole season, he would have had 30-plus goals. So that's three different seasons where you could argue he would have had 30-plus goals if he'd been able to stay healthy, uh, including the year where he did reach 30. So 
uh, the 49 points, pretty good. And in the playoffs, he plays well. 10 games, 5 goals, 6 assists, 11 points. But that would be the last time that Pittsburgh got out of the first round. Uh, Pittsburgh has not been out of the first round since 2018. So 2018-2019, plays 69 games, 18 goals, 19 assists, 37 points. So a bit of a slowdown there, right, from the goals perspective and points perspective. But again, the style of hockey Hornquist plays, he's still in demand even when he's not scoring. Four games in the playoffs, no points there. 2019-2020, plays 52 games, 17 goals, 15 assists, 32 points in the playoffs. One goal, one assist, two points in four games. And September 24th, before we get into the 2020-2021 season, he is traded for Mike Matheson and Colton Sevier. So Mike Matheson going to Pittsburgh, Hornquist going to Florida. That's the basic gist of it because Sevier, depth forward only. Now his first year in Florida, he only plays 44 games out of the 48. Uh, 14 goals, 18 assists, 32 points. So in 44 games, he equals his point total from the year before where he played 52 games. In the playoffs, six games, two goals, three assists, five points. So Florida, pretty good team in 2020 and 2021. And they were an excellent team in 2021, 2022, where they win the President's Trophy. So 65 games played by Hornquist that year, 11 goals, 17 assists, 28 points. In the playoffs, Florida gets out of the first round for the first time since 1996. Hornquist is part of it. 10 games, one goal, one assist, two points. So the offense has fallen off, but still, again, with the style of hockey he plays, useful player. The season we just finished, 2022-2023, plays 22 games, one goal, two assists, three points. However, on December the 3rd, he had a concussion that ended his season, and now he is he is retired from the professional hockey game. Uh, he ends up with 901 games played, 264 goals, 279 assists, 543 points. Not bad, again, for a guy taken last in the draft. Uh, in the playoffs, he plays 106 games, so that's key, right? Over 100 playoff games in his career, 28 goals, 25 assists, 53 points. And again, he is one of those guys you want on your playoff, on your playoff team because he, he goes to the net. He plays that style of hockey that's abrasive, as shown by the fact that he retires with 1,421 career hits, 488 blocked shots, and 370 takeaways. And his takeaways about doubled the amount of giveaways he had. So very good defensive numbers, solid in the hitting department. And in 2017-2018, he had 15 power play goals, which was third in the NHL. So again, all around a very solid season for him uh, that year and a really solid career overall. 2018, he won gold at the World Championships, representing Sweden, of course. 2005, he had a bronze medal at the under-18s. And 2016, he had a bronze at the World Cup of Hockey. So he's represented Sweden. He's won championships there. Or he won the one gold there, and he won uh, medals two other times. But yeah, solid career overall. And there you go, Patrick Hornquist. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, as always. Again, the, the guy that I compare him to is kind of like Thomas Holmstrom. Uh, played, of course, for Detroit and played a very similar style. But let me know who you think his game's reminiscent of and your favorite Hornquist moment. All that fun, all that fun stuff, especially from those cup runs for Pittsburgh. So the reason I'm wearing Pittsburgh, right? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.